I've lived in Port Richmond my whole life. My mom and dad grew up in St. George, and my, my grandpa still lives here. And me and my friend Dave, we get into some crazy stuff. Well, since we were 11, we've been taking my dad's beer. And uh, then we got into the good stuff, the rum, tequila, bourbon, cognac, whatever's there. We drank, we drank anything. And, uh, and when we were 14, oh, we, we set our hair on fire to see how fast it would burn. And when we were about 15, we started breaking into buildings, just like abandoned stuff. Yeah, I've known Dave since I was like six or something. He lives on the street, and, 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 and last summer I climbed into his roof and then kicked in his window to, to freak him out. <laughs> but yeah, it's boring here. School sucks. I took the ferry in with Dave last night to meet up with some of his friends at the club, and we we swiped some of my dad's vodka before we left to put it in a water bottle. I've, I've done this before, jumping down in the tracks when you see the train coming and climbing out real quick. I'm the only one of my friends who can do it without crapping his pants, so I was gonna do it last night, and Dave looked at me all funny, he like got up in my face and told me I was crazy and then and the train lights showed up and, and I was getting ready to jump down. Some, some other dudes on the platform started yelling. They walked over the turnstiles like he didn't know me. I don't know, it's messed up. I, I get enough crap from everyone else. I don't need it for my friends too. I haven't gotten a text from anyone in like four days. And I know we were gonna go to a show, and I, I don't know what's up. Dave must still be pissed about the subway thing. I mean, what the hell? Damn, I was kidding. Anyway, maybe it was a stupid thing to do. I, I didn't want to scare anyone. Just shake things up, see what happens. Is that so wrong? My parents don't care what happens to me. They don't even know about half the crap I do. My teachers don't care, so I don't care. Now my friends don't care. I told my sister about the subway thing, and she, she got so mad told me to get a grip. Josh's sister was worried that his risk taking was putting him in serious danger. She didn't want to lose him or see him badly injured. He agreed to talk with his school counselor about why he was doing dangerous things. The counselor helped Josh see that he didn't need to risk his life for some excitement. He suggested some alternatives like rock climbing or volunteering in a hospital emergency room or with the Red Cross. If you or someone you care about needs help, call or email the counselors at LifeNet any time of day or night. 1-800-LIFENET And remember, you're not alone.